Hello and welcome to our video. My name is Shaden, and in this video we'll go through and configure particles background in your JT Builder pages. This is something that can be enabled on a section level, a column level, an element level, or even a row level. So wherever you have the ability to configure a background, you can put a particles background. Now this works great and gives you great animation. So let me show you first and foremost how it works. So we go to section settings, design particles background, enable particles, and you get this by the default. So there's a, my page has a blue background color. So just shifting it a little, get rid of uh, that background color. So there are a couple of options here. Uh, first of all, the presets, you can have a default preset. So play with the default settings that are in here or do a custom preset and you can download it here at the particles uh, JS website. So make your configuration, put your J uh, JSON in here, it'll work. And back to the settings that we have here. So uh, by default, there are a few options, whether you want the default preset, whether you want the bubbles, which are a little bigger, whether you want snow falling, whether you want stars, there are the stars. And those are really just the four options as for language presets are concerned. Back to shapes, you have the default and the circulars. So there's the circle one. There's the edge ones. So these are squares. There are triangles. And let me actually increase the size of this a little so you can see what it looks like actually. And then you have a polygon. And then you have a star and you can also do a custom image. So let me show you how we can do this. Um, let's go ahead and do this. We'll get a icon and we want a transparent icon. So we'll say, we'll actually go to just icon finder. We can get it there. All right, and there's our icon. And we'll download a small version of it. Back here to our page and we'll upload the image and select it and there you go. So this works really great if you know what you're trying to do. You can increase the size of the image. So I want the particles to be bigger or I want them to be smaller. You can increase the count of the particles. So maybe have 500 images if you want. You can control the speed if you want. So I can have this as snow, so they're all falling down, right? Or I can have this as stars, or I can have these as bubbles. And back to our original circular ones. So there are a lot of settings here as far as what you can do and what you want to do. And then you have the particle move direction. So you can do a random direction. You can do top, top right, and top left. Then you have the bottom, you know, right, left, bottom, and all these settings. So, so bottom, everything's falling down. So, and then we go to image. Looks like all the Joomla logos are falling down. So if you know what you're trying to do, this can be something great to get just the right kind of animation done for your page. So by default, you know, we have this and I'll go ahead and select default. So this works great. And in the color, I'll say this color, I'll decrease the number of particles to, let's say about, decrease the size a little, right? And maybe even more smaller and increase the count a little. And that's your page with particles background, which looks really nice if you know what you're trying to create. A few more, uh, I think we didn't go through the last setting here. So last setting is uh, if you want the particles to be linked to each other. So first of all, there's the, let me actually get a line in here. So whether they're gonna be linked with each other or not. So there's a line, slow them down a little. Right, so whether they're gonna be in the line and what's the distance of this line going to be, right? So there's uh, uh, how big the line is going to be. And you can kind of have it this way. And yeah, 
and this works on top of the existing background so you can very well add a background color here and this will keep working on top of it or maybe even a background image perhaps and let's try adding an image and we don't want the background image to repeat we want the background image to be full width and there you go so you kind of get the idea of what is possible and really the limit is really just your imagination as far as what you can do or what you want to do and if you look at the original demo here this this is uh, what the default particle uh, js looks like and you can have something similar on your website too right and or configure it to have a custom logo or or anything of the sort all right well thank you for tuning in